everybody. Welcome back to the Henster's Kitchen. Today we are making a fabulous pineapple upside down cake. Let's start with a 13 by 9 casserole dish and we're going to grease the bottom and half up the sides. We're going to add in a stick of butter which is half a cup right into the dish and pop it into a preheated 350 degree oven until the butter has melted, which is gonna take anywhere from about two to five minutes. Meanwhile, we're gonna start making the batter. We are doing this the easy peasy way using a box cake mix. You grab whatever box you like best. I'm using Betty Crocker today and you just want your favorite yellow cake mix. Follow the directions on the back of your box, but you're gonna replace the water for pineapple juice. So for mine, we've got our mix in the bowl. We're gonna add in one cup of pineapple juice. I just take it straight from the can. If your juice is just a little bit shy, replace that with a little splash of water. In with our pineapple juice. And then a third of a cup of vegetable oil. When you're doing your measurements, try to get down eye level. It's gonna give you much more accuracy and you'll get a more true consistency each time you make the recipe. There's our oil. And now we're gonna add in three eggs. I like to crack my eggs in a separate dish in case I get shell in it. I can fish it out before it goes into the batter. Now we're gonna pop this on a mixer, starting on a low, just to start incorporating everything before you get a big poof of the powder up in your face. Now that's incorporated, let's scrape down those sides. And we're gonna beat it for about two minutes on a medium speed. Let's scrape down our beater and we are gonna be pouring this right over top of our pretty design that we've made with our pineapple, cherries, and walnuts. Our butter has fully melted in our casserole dish. We're gonna just let this sit and hang out for a second, cool off, and then we're gonna build our design. While it's cooling, let's start getting our fruit ready. I've got my sliced pineapple. Some of them I'm gonna leave in the full circle. Some I'm gonna cut in half so that I can change the design that I create in the bottom of my casserole dish. To me, that's 90% of the fun of a, of a pineapple upside down cake. You build this beautiful design on the bottom that's not revealed until you flip your cake. Take time to build your design. Really be creative, enjoy what you're doing. Now for our Marciano cherries or however you say that correctly. I use roughly a half a cup of cherries, but really what it boils down to, I use however many cherries I need to make the design I want. Just like the pineapple, I'm gonna slice these in half. I 
our butter and casserole dish have cooled enough now that I can start getting everything ready for our decorations. To our stick of melted butter, I'm gonna add in half of a cup of very lightly packed brown sugar. Gently stir it together with the butter Just gently distribute it around the bottom of your dish so that every bit has a little bit of the goodies. Now let's start putting in our whole pineapples. Coming in with some of those half slices now. but you make the design of your choosing. Now it's time for our cherries. I like to put the cut side up. I think it makes a better presentation, but that's just a me thing. You do a you thing. Now I'm gonna finish off with about a quarter of a cup of walnut pieces, walnut halves, whatever you've got on hand is what's gonna work. And we're just gonna place them along the way. Again, trying to think ahead of what is gonna be each piece so that you know that each piece has a little pineapple, a little bit of your cherry, a little bit of your walnuts. We'll top it with our batter and then we're ready for the oven. We're just gonna put a little here and a little there. I am happy with how my design is looking. So now it's time to top it with our batter. Smooth out your batter so it's nice and even. Now let's head back into that 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes or until you put a toothpick in the middle and it comes out clean. It's time for a cake. That's pretty perfect. <laughs> Now we're gonna set it over here and let it cool for about 30 minutes. Then we're gonna loosen the edges and give it a good flip onto our serving tray. Just gently run your butter knife around the edge just to ensure that there's no part of the steak or the, <laughs> to be sure that there's no part of the cake that's sticking to the side. I'm gonna be using, this was my grandmama's. Cake saver, I think is what she always called it. But you could do this on any serving platter, however you would want to do it. Place your tray on first. Say a little prayer and give her a good flip. I could not be happier. Now, I'm totally gonna be cutting a slice of this and going ahead and having a bite, 
If you're gonna store it, you wanna let it cool completely before you put your top on. You don't want it to sweat and add that kind of sogginess to your cake. Cool completely. Then you can put your top on and you will wanna store it in the refrigerator. thing wrong with that. Got all the flavor of made from scratch with the simplicity of a box of cake mix. I mean, come on now. Let's all go make some pineapple upside down cake. Hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the kitchen real soon. Bye-bye.